And here is the news. Thank you, Hal. All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this, I'm your host, Michaela Grundle. And uh, today I bring you three news, ar news articles uh, having to do with uh, marketing, uh, YouTube political ads, and a good story, which we'll save for the end. Um, so before I get into these articles, uh, be sure to subscribe down below, hit on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we post more Hayden Films Minutes, and of course, if you want to see any previous Hayden Films Minutes videos, click on the top right hand corner. Um, Alright, so here we go. Our first article is titled, Integrated Marketing Strategies and Best Practices. So I thought that this article was great for anyone looking to learn more about integrated marketing campaigns. Uh, so today, marketers and businesses find themselves in incredibly complex circumstances due to the upsurge in competitions and unexpected economic downfall. So uh, therefore, traditional marketing campaigns are no longer completely reliable. Um, and digital marketing is highly aggressive. So integrated marketing is uh, basically where you deliver the same message and content and customer experience on all channels of social media. Um, so why are integrated marketing campaigns effective? We're gonna get into that right now. So one, uh, it, they allow the possibility of reaching a wider audience so you're not sticking to a single marketing channel. So the more the better. Um, it lets you leave your mark, so when you implement integrated marketing for a business, uh, the customers have a great chance of being seen on multiple channels. They are cost effective as well. Uh, since you focus on a single message and run different campaigns, for instance, if you publish a blog on your website, you can share the same on social media channels and send the same newsletters and to your subscribers. Um, so how to build an integrated marketing campaign? Uh, I think that this article really does a great job at giving tips to the readers on how to actually carry through a marketing campaign. Um, so one, you want to determine the campaign goals. Um, so having a campaign goal helps you target the right audience when you choose the right and effective channels. Uh, you can increase engagement and expect good return on investment. Uh, second, you want to choose your marketing channels. So once you lay out your goals, you need to have a clear picture of the channels that work for your product or service. Um, with a clear direction, it's more like it, it is more like getting on a random train and expecting that it would take you to the ideal destination. That's why you should know the effective marketing channels for your business beforehand. And then you want to create a buyer persona. So like every channel has its purpose, every channel has its own buyer persona. So instead of a wide persona for the campaign, you need to determine your audience by channel, which makes sense, you know, uh, different people are gonna use different channels and how they get their information. Um, and then last, uh, you wanna create adaptable content. So you wanna throw in some humor, be relevant, because this is the place where you get to use the maximum of your creativity. So this is really um, one of the factors that differentiates you from other campaigns and people who are implementing their techniques um, within their integrated marketing campaigns. And uh, then let it roll. Uh, this is the time that you run your integrated marketing campaign and you wanna get the results that you wanna see. Um, so the best practices for integrated marketing. So you want to have internal alignment and collaboration. So the collaboration between channel managers uh, is very necessary. So you should let the teams talk. If you're running multiple integrated marketing campaigns that are operated by multiple channel managers, you want to ensure that they're all on the same page so that nothing gets mixed up. Uh, you want to note the, tra the channel transition. The major benefit of integrated marketing is that you get traffic from multiple sources. You should consider how a visitor experiences and views every marketing channel, such as if it is organic traffic or the visitor has been redirected from another platform. And you want to cross promote your channels to avoid overlaps. So you can avoid, uh, include sorry, uh, your social media handles in every promotional email or newsletter. You can include your website URL and you can embed your social media posts on the website, uh, testimonials or blogs. So 
Uh, to wrap that article up, uh, it's clear that in today's world where the day begins and ends with mobile technology, um, integrated marketing is more important than ever to grab the attention of uh, the target audience of your brand. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to our second article, which is titled, YouTube is so flooded with political ads it can't place them all. And this is brought to you by Detroit News. So less than two weeks before the U.S. election, some political campaigns are dealing with an unexpected obstacle on YouTube, the Internet's largest video site. There isn't enough space to run their ads. So... Basically, all political advertisers are buying the same states to similar audiences. Um, so basically, viewership has shot up on YouTube during the pandemic. And this is making uh, campaign advertisers want to target YouTube so that they can display their ads to a wide range of people, depending on where they are, whatever the case may be. Um, so YouTube also sells based on reservations. So these reservations can be purchased in advance, just like television, um, and run the, run the advertisements on YouTube's most popular videos. So uh, in certain states with tight polling in the presidential race and uh, comp competitive congressional elections, such as Iowa, they're entirely sold out on YouTube. Uh, so this being the case, it's really hard for YouTube to properly place these advertisements on the videos. Um, so many political ad buyers are interested in YouTube's limited amount of commercials that viewers can't skip through. So this is making campaign advertisers want to uh, reserve those spots even more, which means an increase in funds being spent. So uh, the reserves tend to be gobbled up by well-funded campaigns, of course. So this has kind of forced small campaigns to look at al alternative digital video outlets such as Hulu or Roku uh, because of the upward scale of, of the funds needed to pay for these advertisements on these popular videos. So yeah, YouTube is a popular destination for campaigns despite the new restrictions um, that YouTube says that it's going to review every political ad more closely to meet its policy standards to curb misinformation, which is good. You know, you want that to be the case, of course. Um, so still the growth in YouTube's viewership, especially on TV sets, makes the site appealing to pol politician campaigns. Uh, you'd really be hard pressed at this point to find a major U.S. Senate campaign that hasn't invested six or seven figures, which is a lot of money. Google has sold more than 139 million in U.S. political ads in the last month alone. So yeah, that's really, that's a lot. Uh, even the fact of they're spending so much money uh, in the expensive ads atop of the YouTube homepage, which that's big money because that's where the eyeballs are going, of course. So comment down below your experiences or feelings about how these ads have appeared on your YouTube videos. Um, and are you surprised that political campaign advertisers has, have spent so much money to get a spot on these YouTube videos? Um, yeah, comment down below. Uh, and on to our last article, and it's a pretty feel-good story to start your day or end your day, whatever the case may be. Uh, so five-year-old cancer survivor meets dolphin through virtual reality. So I thought that this story was uh, really touching, and it really does show how... VR is is progressing and also changing lives. Uh, I think that this story is really gonna make you feel good. All right, so um, if you don't know, uh, the story of Winter, which is a dolphin with, with a prosthetic fin. Uh, it's appeared in multiple movies. Uh, she's pretty famous. Uh, so this is about a five-year-old Jackson from Ohio who was diagnosed at the age of three with a rare cancer which no child should ever have to go through, ever. Um, but since uh, he has recovered after months of treatment at Mercy Health Children's Hospital at St. Vincent's Medical Center in Toledo, Jackson's cancer is now in remission. So to celebrate, his family was scheduled to take a trip to Disney World, uh, but then the pandemic hit. So the Children's Miracle Network brought a piece of Florida to Ohio, which I thought, 
this was really amazing of them to be able to do for this uh, child, Jackson. Uh, so the gift was in the form of a gift box from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium, including a book, DVD, a stuffed animal, and virtual reality goggles so that Jackson could see winter up close without leaving home. So you could actually feel like you were in the water with the dolphins and they were close up and personal. Um, so it's really exciting for that, for Jackson to be able to uh, experience um, going to Disneyland or Disney World, I'm sorry, um, and really immerse himself into that world. Uh, but as soon as he, they can, they are going to take the trip to Disney World. Um, so I thought that that was a really good feel, feel good article and a story of someone who overcame such a hard obstacle. Um, so yeah, that concludes our articles for today. I hope you enjoyed. Once again, I'm your host, Michaela Grundle. And again, be sure to subscribe to Hayden Films and check out our previous Hayden Films minutes. Uh, thank you. Enjoy, stay safe, and stay kind.